After a seven year reign, Netflix's The Crown is coming to an end and we now have the official trailer for the final season. Join me today as I break down the trailer, plot details, promotional posters and screenshots of the new season. Now I'm bringing you weekly videos covering the best and worst of movies and television and delivering it straight to your subscription feed. So to stay up to date and support the channel, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and ring that bell to not miss a single thing. The recent promos have confirmed that season 6 would be broken up into two parts, with release dates spaced less than a month away from each other. At this stage we're all aware that the primary focus of this season, at least for part 1, will be the death of Princess Diana, so it makes sense that she's front and centre for this trailer. Now the title of the trailer confirms this is just promoting part 1, so it is reasonable to believe that we're only being shown footage from the first few episodes, with the trailer for part 2 expected to drop shortly after part 1 premieres. Season 5 ended its events in 1997 and Season 6 will pick up right where it left off, so the time frame where the show is up to does not leave much time before the tragedy, so it's unlikely Diana will be a part of the later episodes. But let's go through the trailer. So it opens immediately where Season 5 ended, with Diana holidaying across many locations, including the Mediterranean, where these iconic images were taken by the press, who obviously are being more intrusive on the princess than ever. And as the Queen is told, this is not expected to go away anytime soon. I must comment on how well they do selecting the music for these trailers. Last year they used a cover of Bittersweet Symphony and here Mad World, both encapsulating these moments in time perfectly. The Queen at this stage is just wanting to distance herself after the divorce and obviously having such a public face tied to the royal family is not smiled upon by its members. Aside from her holidaying, we also get a brief glance at the princess in protective gear, which is a reference to her work clearing landmines across the world. This period in the 90s was an ever increasing pressure cooker of events and I feel the show will have a constant build in tension, which will culminate in the note being gifted to Diana asking if she wants to go to Paris. The beginning of the end. And for those that are familiar with the events of that night, this outfit she is wearing is just moments before her death. That shot of the exterior of Windsor Castle's lights all turning on as the tragic news spreads is so haunting and it gives me immediate chills. I feel like this moment in the show will be more impactful than really anything we've seen on the show so far. We then see how the palace handles the news and the public scrutiny they received for their initial silence, followed by statements which came across cold and impersonal. And these events, I assume, will take us to the end of part 1, with the Queen then stepping back into the spotlight to lead the series to its conclusion. I don't know if this is just wishful thinking, but the way they are promoting the season with all three queens, not just in the teaser but also now the poster, I think we may be getting more than just a cameo of the previous queens and will instead be treated to full length scenes to flesh out and give further backstory to what Staunton's Queen Elizabeth is experiencing. With this trailer came accompanying screenshots from the Netflix website showing a bunch of close-ups with meaningful expressions, a foreboding glance at what is to come. A short while ago, Netflix also released this teaser image of the program for King Charles and Queen Camilla's wedding, which occurred in 2005. Considering the current heads of the royal family, I guess this will be a fitting end to the dramatisation. It is being reported that season 6 will be made up of 10 episodes, with part 1 consisting of 4 episodes on November 16 and the remaining 6 for part 2 on December 14. But what historic events are you most looking forward to seeing portrayed in the show before the final curtain closes? I'd love to hear what you think, so let me know, I'll be down there in the comments. You can also see what I'm watching by following me on TikTok, Twitter and Letterboxd, which are all linked in the description. But if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for weekly videos covering the best and worst of movies, television and pop culture. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.